Hey everyone, in this beginner friendly tutorial, we're looking at how to create a slider bar to visualize your health in game. Hi, I'm Matt with Nightrun Studio. I'm currently working on my dream game Willard and making tutorial videos as I go. This latest series is going to look at creating a health system in Unity. There's just a couple of things you need in order for this to work. I'm assuming that you have a player who has some sort of a health system so that as you bump into an enemy, you do in fact lose health. I'm also assuming there's an enemy who can deal some damage. That's it for actual stuff in the game, though you are going to also want to make sure that you have some sort of a slider. You'll notice down here that I have a slider bar which has both a backing for when the slider is empty, as well as a front. If you are not an artist and you're looking for assets, I recommend Kenny. If you filter into UI, there's actually a UI RPG expansion here, which has a number of different colored sliders and boxes and things like that. All right, so let's get this started. We're gonna begin by setting up the actual UI inside of Unity. So for that, I'm gonna come over here to my hierarchy where I'm gonna right click, head down to UI and add in my canvas. While clicked on the canvas, I just wanna draw your attention to the canvas scaler. By default, it goes to constant pixel size, which just like the name suggests, means the pixels will always be the same size. I like to go with scale with screen size so that my UI is always a consistent size no matter what monitor type we're displaying on. The important thing here though is just to, in game view, make sure that you are in fact aware of what resolution you're using. I'm in 1920 by 1080, and just make sure that the reference resolution matches. That way, if my UI takes up 5% of the screen, no matter what screen I am playing on, it will take up the same percent. All right, with that done, let's get creating. We can now right click on our canvas, go to UI, and we're gonna add a slider. Let's call this one health slider. We can open it up and you'll notice that there's a lot going on here. That can be a bit overwhelming, but we're gonna make things easy by first of all, just getting rid of this handle area. This is not an interactable UI where you are gonna be moving it around with a mouse. So we can just delete that to make things simpler. At This point now we've got our background, which is just like it suggests the actual background. So we can take our backing for our slider and put it into the source image here. If I zoom in, you'll see that we now have a slider background. I can also go into the fill and drag my front slider into there. And now you'll notice that this changed. Um, if I were to go right now to the slider itself, look at the slider component, I could change my value here and you can see it moving across. Now it's not a great fit. Don't worry, we'll fix that in just a moment. Before we go any further, I just wanna get this positioned and I wanna figure out roughly how large I want it to be. Whenever I'm working with UI, I like to take my game view and put it side by side with my scene view. This allows me to have one side where I can see the UI canvas and another where I can see what it will look like in the game. So right now, if I were to take my slider and move it up into the top left here, I can actually see what that will look like in game view. This slider is very small at the moment. So I wanna start by just increasing the size. I'm going to try moving this up to about 320. Let's try double. And here I actually wanna make it quite a bit larger. I'm gonna go 60, so it'd be triple the original size. One other thing I wanna do at the moment is just make sure that it is filling properly. You'll notice that when I move the slider, it's not quite filling the space um, entirely. It's close, but not quite. And so we wanna make sure that that's all working as intended. So first off, we have our background image here, which is great, but the fill area that is on top of it, and let's zoom in in scene view here so we can see this, um, is actually cutting off a little bit too early. You can kind of see there's a little faint line there. In order to fix that, we're just going to head to our Rect Transform on the fill area, click on this anchor preset, and while holding Option, I believe it is Alt on PC, you can just click this stretch and it will stretch to fill the entire area. Our fill now, we're going to want to do the same thing, and actually we want it to fill both horizontally and vertically, so we're going to use this bottom one. Again, while holding Option or Alt, click it, and now everything is sized up to match. With that now done, we can go to our slider and as we change the value, it will actually fill the entire space. One last thing I wanna do while I'm here is just in my fill, I chose a grayscale so that I could play with the colors. So if I want to get a nice reddish color here, I can do that. I like this option as it allows me to change depending on my color palette. Maybe I want a green slider or a blue one. I can also later on add some code so that it changes the actual color depending on how much damage I've taken or if I'm poisoned or something like that. All right, with our UI up and running here, we're ready to get coding. I'm just gonna put my game view back in place, zoom that back out. 
right? Now, because our UI is so closely connected with our health, I'm gonna put it into the same script for now. So let's open up whatever your health script is. My health script is a very simple one that just has a health and max health, sets them equal at start, and then whenever take damage is called, the health goes down and I die if I get to zero. Not a lot going on here. We're simply gonna add in the slider so that it interacts as the health changes. Now, because we're working with UI, we're gonna to need to add that namespace. So we can add a using unity engine.ui at the top. With that done, we'll now be able to add a public slider. Let's just call it slider. Adding that reference just makes it so that if I click my player in Unity and look at his health script, there's now a place for our slider. So I can take my health slider and drag it in there. They're now able to talk to each other. Back in my code now, we just need to actually tell the slider how it's updating itself. So first of all, in our start method, let's tell the slider that its max value is gonna be equal to our max health. Next, that our slider's current value will be equal to our current health. Now we can just copy this second line, which updates our current health, Paste it down here so that after our health has changed, our slider value is updated. We can save that. Because we already connected the slider, there's no setup to do here. Though just to make sure everything's working properly, I'm gonna to go to my health slider, head down to value, and just start it off down low here so that when we begin the game, we should see it pop up to full. So now as soon as the game begins, you'll see that my health went up to full. And as I interact with an enemy, each time I take damage, whoops, that didn't take any damage, my health bar does in fact go down until eventually it's gone altogether. It's a quick little bonus feature if you're interested. Sometimes it's nice to have something like the head of the player showing up here in your UI, a portrait. And so if you wanna do something like that, you just need a image of your character. And what we can do is right click on our canvas and down to UI. Let's add an image here. And for the moment, let's call this portrait. And all we wanna do here is make sure that our player's head goes into the source image. Then while we're working in scene view, I'm just gonna double click that portrait so that I can find it here. And we'll move it up into place over here. In game view, I can kind of see what that looks like. If I'd like to, I could make it a little larger. Maybe I wanna go up to like 160 by 160. So we get just a slightly larger version. And I could, of course, Move my slider over just a little so the head isn't obscuring it. And now we have a much nicer looking slider. Let's hit play. You'll notice that as soon as the game began, my health did go up to full. And now whenever I interact with the enemy, my health goes down until eventually I have the ability to die. All right, I hope you found that one helpful. Next video up, we will be adding a pop-up damage to our player. And if you're enjoying the series, please be sure to let me know. Leave me a comment, click like, or subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.